Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly, and in this video, I'll show you how to use Oxygen's header builder element. So to add a header builder to your page, go to Add, Helpers, Header Builder. And the structure of a header builder is the header builder itself, a header row, you can have an unlimited number of rows, and inside each row, you'll see row left, row center, and row right. Elements placed in row left will appear on the left side of the header, Elements placed in row center will appear in the center of the header, and elements placed in row right will appear on the right side of the header. So let's go ahead and add in a logo image to the header. So we'll go to Add Basics Image, and let's browse for our already uploaded logo image, and let's make this 35, 34, 33 pixels tall. And we'll close the structure panel so we can see what's going on. And then just to position this image in the header builder, We'll just drag it. So to position it in the center, drag it to the center. To position it on the right, drag it to the right. To position it on the left, drag it to the left. So now that I've added in a logo image, I'll go ahead and add in a menu. So we'll go to Add, WordPress, Menu. And I don't have a WordPress menu on this site yet, so this is going to show some example dummy links just so I can style it. Let's go ahead and position this over on the right side of the header row. And to style the menu, you have various options for text styles, spacing, hover and active, drop downs, uh, when the menu becomes responsive, is a toggle, etc. I'm not going to go into detail on those in this video. Watch the other video on the menu element for information on that. So now I've created our first header row. Let's go ahead and add in another row. So to do that, we have to go back to the header builder. So to do that, you can click on a header row and then click the up arrow to get to the header builder, click on header builder over here, or you can click on header builder in the breadcrumb. And from the header builder, you can click add another row. So let's go ahead and add another row. And I want this on the top. So let's drag that up to the top. And let's go with a blue background. And let's put in business opening hours. So I'll add in a text element. Let's make this text white. Say open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. And let's add some social icons. So we'll go to add helpers, social icons. These are blue by default. So let's make those white and adjust the size and spacing just a little bit and then drag those over to the right. And then to add spacing on a header row itself, you just click the header row, mouse over the edge, and drag down to add some spacing. So I'll add some padding on the top and some padding on the bottom. Okay, that looks good. So now we have our multi-row header. Uh, now let's go ahead and make this responsive. So say I go down to 1120 pixels, still looks good. 992 looks good. But at less than 768, it starts to get a little cramped. These start to wrap. So what we're going to do is just choose to stack this header row vertically below 768 pixels. And then we can add in a little spacing here. And there we go. Now it's going to stack horizontally on desktop, but below 768 pixels, it will stack vertically because we've chosen stack vertically below 768. So that's how to make a header row responsive. Uh, let's say we wanted to hide one of these rows when the screen gets small. So for example, maybe we only want to display this row on desktop, but let's say below 98, 92 pixels, we don't want to show it. We can just choose hide row below and then choose less than 992. Now above 992, that row will show, but below 992, it won't show. Now I want to show it always, so I'm just going to choose never. That's the default. So we never hide that row. Okay, now let's go ahead and make this header sticky. So we want it to stick to the top of the page when we scroll down. So first I'll add some content to this page so we're able to scroll. So let's go ahead and add a section. Um, I'll set a background on this. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit taller. Let's add another section below it with some text and just duplicate a couple times so we're able to scroll. Okay, so now we're able to scroll down the page nicely. So let's go ahead and make the header itself sticky. So to do that, we'll go to the header builder. So you can click a header row and then go up to the header builder. 
and go to the sticky subsection. And to make it sticky, go to sticky and then check enable sticky header. Now you have settings for the sticky header. The default is after 300 pixels of scrolling, the header becomes sticky. So now you scroll down 300 pixels and the header sticks to the top of the page. Uh, one thing we want to do is set a background color for the sticky header because it's transparent right now over that image doesn't look so good. So what we'll do is go to sticky background and set the sticky background color to white. And now it's no longer transparent. Uh, we can choose when the header is sticky. For example, you probably don't want to make your header sticky on a mobile device because the screen's already small. You don't want to take up too much vertical space. So by default, the header is sticky above 1120 pixels. So I can move it down to less than 992 or above 992. Now if we go below 992, the header is not sticky. But above 992, the header is sticky. I'm going to set this to be sticky above 1120, so desktop only or very wide tablets. Uh, and the next thing you can do is choose to fade in the sticky header. So you get a nice little animation when the header becomes sticky. And you can control the fade in speed. I'll make it a little slower so you can see in the video. Header becomes sticky, fades in. So that looks pretty good. Uh, another thing you might want to do is hide certain rows from the sticky header. So for example, we probably want the main header to be sticky. But this business info, social icons, we don't want to take up too much vertical space. So let's hide this row in the sticky. So to do that, you click on the row and then just choose under sticky display, hide in sticky. Now, at the top of the page, it'll be displayed. But when the header becomes sticky, that row will be hidden in the sticky. Another thing you can do is create a header row that is only shown in the sticky. So for example, let's say... I wanted a totally custom header in the sticky that's different from these two. Let's go ahead and duplicate this row. And uh, let's go ahead and add in, say, a button. And we'll get rid of the menu. Maybe we just want our call to action button. Sign up now. Drag that over to the right. And let's add a little bit of space. And let's make this logo a bit smaller, say, something like 20 pixels. Yeah, you probably don't need that much space. And we want to make the button a little bit smaller too. Okay, so let's say we want to display this row when the header is sticky, but only when the header is sticky. We'll choose only show in sticky under sticky display. And then for this row, we'll choose hide in sticky. So now here's our header at the top of the page. And here is our sticky header. So we've created a completely custom sticky header. Now next up, let's go ahead and make an overlay header. So to make an overlay header, you can set an overlay header to either always overlay, which means you would go to the header builder itself, and under overlay, you can choose overlay header and when the header will overlay, but better is to only enable the overlay header on specific pages. So let's say I designed a home page that has a background image like this, and I want the header to overlay this background image but I want my header to behave normally on the other pages of my site. Maybe my header is coming from my template. Well, then what I would do is go to Manage, Settings, Page Settings, and then I choose Overlay Header, and when I want the header to overlay, I choose above 1120 pixels, and now the header is an overlay. So as you can see, it overlays this background image. Now, this looks good in the overlay, but this row, we actually need to use a light logo since we have a dark background. We probably want to change the styles in the menu link. So what we're going to do is click this row and choose to hide it in the overlay. But first, we're going to duplicate it and create a row that only shows in the overlay. So let's change this to use our light logo. And then change this menu to use, say, a different color for the text. We probably want to use uh, white text for those links. And... Then what we're going to do is set this row to only show in the overlay and this row to be hidden in the overlay. And now when our header is an overlay, this row appears. If our header was not an overlay, the original row appears. So this way we can use one header builder to design a custom overlay header, a custom sticky header, super, super flexible. Okay, again, this is Lewis from SoFly, and that is how to use Oxygen's header builder element. Thank you very much for watching.